Hello, Kenny, and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. Okay, so we're trying to find stuff that we need to get this generator back up and running. Charlie is really concerned that we're going to get ourselves killed because we're dealing with things that are way beyond our abilities and beyond our power. We're dealing with people that are literally very intense. Some DIY wives who had one hell of an idea with this generator pump to siphon the water from the nearby building. Genius! I'm a cylinder of gas and my own fear to exchange for using your stuff. I'm leaving you the unit as is. Gas is on me at my treat. And when I've left all this gear, you're a lifesaver. There's a 99% chance I would have made some regrettable decisions without it. To any and all future tenants, enjoy the luxury. Hey, I ain't much of a techie, but I got a gift of my own. Even some Bruce keys in the fridge if you manage to get the power flowing. Have yourself a nice cold one, kick back and enjoy most of the other appliances are busted. Alright, so I didn't touch nothing in case I'd fucking fuck things up even more. All I needed was a mattress and a bit of R&R &R before moving on. Sam, I took the jacket someone left near the front door so I couldn't leave something for anyone coming after me. Thank you all. Nice. That's how you survive. All these people who are buying guns, who want, who think they're gonna survive the, uh, the apocalypse. The wrong. Oh crap, I'm overloaded. This is the first time in a while. Alright, let's see here. Let's get rid of all the weapons that I've been picking up. Except, of course, for the ones that are special in some way, shape, or form. Like my precision wife, wife, rifle, my precision rifle. Who's gonna pretend that didn't happen? I should probably equip that. The Widowmaker, we should probably equip that instead of the Nekomata. So this is literally a better version, a much better version of the exact same thing. Just it's ranged a little further down, but all I have to do is put on a decent... Oh no, never mind. Apparently I can't equip it with a decent, uh, sniper scope. And that's the reason why it's a right precision rifle and not a sniper rifle. Okay. Keeping the stinger will get rid of pretty much everything else. These knives look so cool. Alright, get rid of everything. We need the components. We really do. Okay. So, now that we did that, let's go to crafting. Can I craft a new one of you? Technically, yes, I can. Still can't craft a stabilizer, though. Need a purple stabilizer. Equalizer, shuffler. Stabilizer? There it is. I need two blue stabilizers to get that. Tenders. Pinpoint. Head toll. Head toll looks good for a sniper. So does Zenith. Zenith. Five seconds after drawing your weapon. Um, bullet spread. Okay, that's definitely for a shotgun. Bonus for headshot kill, so that one would be good. But, notice that there is no blue level stabilizer. There is a green level stabilizer, but it needs a white level stabilizer, which I definitely do not have. So yeah, it's just, it's just complete and utter BS. I have to find the white one to get the green one, to get the blue one, to get the purple one, to get the gold one. But I'm like, I've got the components to build this. I should be able to build it. 
But that, that's just the way it is. Firecracker, what, what, oh! This, this stuff I can make out of the... Out of the... Chimera Core. Firecracker shoots explosive rounds. Spot can be equipped, it also automatically unequips after disassembling, selling, or dropping the weapon it is attached to. Okay. Wall puncher. Allows you to charge the weapon to 200% capacity without increasing charge time. Ooh, the smart weapon mod. That's probably the one I want. Hack Automy. 100% chance to apply a quick hack effect. Hack type depends on the body part hit. This mod can be unequipped and also automatically unequipped after. Okay. So this literally allows a weapon, a, one of my smart weapons, to activate a quick hack when I fire it. That's freaking awesome. And then severance. When the enemy is below 50% health, each hit to their head or limbs has a 20% chance to dismember and instantly kill. Okay. So that would also be good since I'm a sniper, but I'm leaning towards this. But I'm not going to do any of that right now. That is not on my to-do list. I don't know if I want any of those things just yet. I know I got some new pants, but I don't think pants give you anything special, so I'm gonna stick with Johnny shoes and Johnny pants. Exo jacks. More exo jacks, okay. Alright, I know I've got a slot for a skeleton part that I have not filled yet. We'll see what, what we wanna do. First of all, I need to get this generator up and rolling. Scan your surroundings to find a working battery. Microwave is explosive for the solid working battery. Hmm, what do you know? There's a radio. Well, apparently the president's gone somewhere to change clothes. Battery power drone. Move drone's battery. Hold on. There's something out there I can scan. Out there. Oh. All good in there? Yes. I know how to change clothes, V. Just because I haven't had to for 12 years. <laughs> Penguins are evil? Well, I'm not gonna argue with that logic. There you go. Should do the trick by my eye. Oh, let's hope so. Okay, let's power back up. Here it goes. In you go. Fire it up. Let's do it. Fingers crossed. Here it goes. And the maze balls. Balls. Look what I found. What do you say? There's more in the fridge. Feel free. You earned it. Booze. This is a good time. <laughs> Let's see. Today I survived a Delta crash, a district wide manhunt, and a prototype killer robot. Yes, it's a great fucking time. You look great. Right? Should draw less attention, too. Actually, Grab a she card. looks completely different. We're stuck in Dogtown with no sign of life from So Me. Not ready to celebrate yet. Suit yourself. But I won't let a good thing go to waste. Mm -hmm. Housewarming gift from Songbird, maybe? I doubt it. <sighs> Wouldn't it be wonderful? Circling back to Night City, speculative chatter continues tonight around the downed passenger craft. And U.S. representatives claim President Rosalind Myers was aboard when catastrophe struck. City officials have yet to release any statement. However, one all too familiar figure did decide to speak uh, out. Course. Kurt Hansen, yeah. the self proclaimed leader of Dogtown, called a press conference earlier today to offer his take on the situation. I'm being framed, isn't it obvious? Oh, the NUSA's been out for my blood for years. 
Now I'm not without flaws. But another thing I'm not is suicidal. An attempt on the life of the head of the NUSA? <laughs> what transpired in Dogtown is no trivial matter. I urge you all to consider the true motives behind this... spectacle. The NUSA will take any excuse it can get to send forces into Dogtown. And will they stop there? <laughs> no. You, good people of Night City, are next in the fucking line. Shit. Mark my Fuck words. This. Troglodyte's clever. Maybe too clever for his own good. So Hansen decided to wave a classic false flag. So doubt, reap apprehension awards, any NUSA attempt to get you back. Both ends fight in the middle. Well, you sure know how to cheer people up. Some mysterious party's out to trigger war. An attempt on my life's a damn good case of spell eye. Hey, then, I ain't sure about your life. Let's stay put for now. Draw no attention. All the more reason for us to stay put. Got plenty of mysteries to solve. Songbird, Washington, Hansen. To name a few. Agreed. Hear that? Footsteps. Songbird? We don't know for sure. Maybe. Can't be sure, though. It's our lucky day, Shumba. A penthouse with a view of the city. And lights that work. No. This doesn't feel right. None never does with you, does it? Fucking killjoy. You want an angle on Hansen's airdrops? You got it. V, we need to eliminate them. Come on, man. Let's have a look around. Wait. I'll be dead. Wanna try talking first? I hope you know what you're doing. Weapons! Now! What the fuck? I won't say it again. Yo, 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 chill. Just looking for a place to hold up for the night. This one's taken, clearly. Told you. So I see. Back the hell up! That's better. Weapons! Now! What the fuck? I won't say it again. Yo, 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 chill. Just looking for a place to hold up for the night. This one's taken, clearly. Told you. So I see. This, the uh, presidential suite. Shit. Word is, they a bounty on the head of Rosalind Myers. What are we gonna do about that? Come on, guys. Let's figure something out. We don't want any problems. Iron in my face? Say otherwise. This iron will stay silent, so long as you do. Now that's an idea. But our silence ain't come cheap yeah. yet. Whoa. Pump the brakes, man. Not now, Tay. I was negotiating. Do you remember negotiating with Hanson? What happened? Not now. You negotiated with Hanson? What was that about? Not... Small misunderstanding. They machete this leg off. You motherfucker. Was a conflict of interest. Colonel Dipshit don't appreciate motivated entrepreneurs like myself. Now my question is, what can you offer us that's better? That's the NUS president you're talking to. Guarantee the White House can offer more than some hermit warlord. The White House? But we're already in Hansen's house. If we help each other, I'm prepared to pay double what Hansen would. Jacob. Hmm. And what's that supposed to look like exactly? There's enough space for four. Should be easy to stay out of each other's way. But if any uninvited guests arrive, we'll be counting on you to stand with us. This is your chance. There won't be another. Shit. But it might could be our last. You got a deal, Madam Prez. Interesting. And... Want me a Rafi? Jesus Christ. Yeah, me too. Uh-huh. Any model in particular? Shit, my ass will fit some all the same. Good point. Tell me where you want it parked. Sure does. Now let's do it. Will do, so long as your bodyguard don't slit our throats come nighttime. 
Well, V, do you plan to slit these two gentlemen's throats? Rest easy, Chum. Just mind your manners. Okay, I promise, Mama. <laughs> oh my God. Well, all fucking right. We got us a deal. Okay. I like to celebrate new chooms by tossing back a few, but T and I got to be sharp. Airdrops come morning. Gotta get up early. Okay. Same here. Come on, V. It's been a hell of a long day. Watch and learn. You gonna get us killed one of these days? Maybe. But at least you'll kick it with a smile on your face and your balls in the right place. Hmm. Looking for someone. Asian American woman, about thirty. Seen anyone like that? Well, it doesn't ring a bell. But shit, <laughs> you can't ask you to meet at a bar like a normal chew. Mm. You pull the night shift? Well, we could call it my part of the deal. And an old habit from the Badlands. Mm. So, you were nomad? I was. Once upon a time. Abandon your family? I betrayed them. I'd rather not get into it. Understandable. All right. Thank you, sir. What's up, V? Shoot some shit with me? Let's spill it, my man. Working for the press. What's it like? Feds probably pay stacks. I wish. Every hour brings new challenges. Can't tell you more than that. Yo, no doubt, no doubt. Hang with the right peeps? I bet the whole world opens its legs. Business trips, Lux hotels, Joy Toys on demand, Ganic meat, happy hour in orbit? I mean, shit. Like a fucking rock star. Like a fucking rock star. Anyway, you made a wise choice for an overnight. Safe, out of the way. It's even got work and power. Mentioned airdrops before. What's that about? It's like this. Colonel Hansen runs a big market, but he's landlocked, right? Gotta get his shipments in somehow. Talking iron, ammo, meds, fucking anything. All falling out of the sky and into Kurt's lap. Now, if you know where and when to look, might fall into your lap instead. Feel me? Telling me fighters keepers? Clepping from Kurt? It's kid stuff. Trickle down <coughs> economics, I call no it. Point. So, one thing I don't get. Building's safe, right? So why is it a total ghost town? Right. <laughs> See... Well, that's because it's haunted. You ain't never heard the stories, dog. Jacob. It's true. A lot of peeps died here. Mysterious circumstances. Like an aneurysm, each and every <laughs> one. One time, 12 runners they found. All their brains fried. Hansen closed the house down, banned entry. And the colonel's word means lots more than some turrets and shit. Folks know to stay away. So what are we still doing here? Cause fuck them, that's what. And fuck urban legends. Okay then. But we now have proof that a runner might be in danger because of something unknown. Finally. My legs are killing me. Come on. Take a breath. Next time. Still nothing from so me. Radio silence. She's never gone dark this long. Troubling, to say the Next least. Bit. How you feel about our roommates? None too bright. But not entirely useless. Not true. And two extra guns could always prove handy. Gonna give them that payday, really? Why wouldn't I? They're taking a sizable risk. So, what if Songbird don't show? We need to wait. It's all we can do for now. If she doesn't show, well, then I'll have one other option to consider. But let's table it till morning. We should get some rest. Well, I really hope. <laughs> Surreal. All of it. What's that? I'd have been home by now. Reading the evening brief, 
glass of water and two sleeping pills waiting on the night table. Doesn't sound like you miss it much. <sighs> See you in the morning, V. Good night, Madam President. I really hope Songbird's alright. I really like that character. Sure. She's on the balcony. Thanks. Where's Jacob? Fresh air drop nearby. Jay went down for a look see. Okay. Sleep okay? Night all right? Like any with a roof overhead. Claustrophobic. <laughs> As for Jacob, he thrives in dream life. Nice. Come on, baby. Ever ridden in a rayfield? My villa with VIP friends, high society, on and on till the crack of dawn. A man with ambitions, clearly. Those in a deviated septum. Yeah. So he feels like he talks a lot. Got it. Alright, let's go check on the president. Ooh, rain, I like the rain. She's not here. Of course not. Means she's not coming. You seen the swarms Hanson has out hunting? Might have nabbed her. Possibility. One that concerns me the most. I need to find her. You don't leave your people behind enemy lines. Could it still buy that fairy tale bullshit? Whatever happened, we have to help her. Listen. We had a calm night, but you gotta leave Dogtown. How? In a car trunk? Fingers crossed? Hanson's waiting for that sort of desperate attempt. Okay. There gotta be a way. Let me think. Know my share of fixers. Bet we could get one Out of the question. They'll hand me over to the highest bidder. All right. Gotta talk backup plan. Not a plan. A man. The kind we need. Solomon Reed's the name. Nicely done. Seven years ago, he headed up our intelligence efforts in Night City. He and so me were a team. With conflict over, he went into hibernation. So he's out there somewhere. Reed's a man of principle. He can't be swayed, can't be bribed. If there's anyone we can trust now, it's him. Of course. I like what they did when Connie disappeared because she... Got it, and what, the deal? A sleep agent? No shit. Tell me more. Unless that's like a state secret or whatever. It is. Of the false bottom drawer variety. Let's say you want to secure your interests on another country's soil. If diplomacy fails, you resort to other means. Like a military coup. That's one option. Solomon Reed is another sure one. Seven years undercover. Guy sounds like a true asset. Used to be with Arasaka once upon a time. Counter intel. Never saw any read on file. Above your pay grade, maybe? Consider that. Maybe I was too busy getting my hands wet and dirty. Sure. So, that's a yes. Go I'll back, you. up your clearance, and check again. No thanks. Hard pass. Closed chapter in my life. Good. Although Reed is likely to keep it open. Why? War's been over for seven years. For some, wars never end. War never changes. How do I find your guy? Guessing I can't just buzz him on his work hollow. Activating a sleeper agent is no simple matter. You'll need a dog whistle. What now? Don't tell him I called it that. It's a signal only Reed will hear. It'll be tricky. Huh. There was a secret comms channel accessed only from a Capitan Caliente nearby. The FIA used it before the war. The access code was... 0931. Got a bad feeling, V. Meaning an analog landline. That crash tear open a hole in space-time? When sending sensitive information, you use the technology least vulnerable to interception, old or not. 
That Caliente should still be wired for it. Mm. Owner have a thing for antiques? He had a thing for federal money. That makes sense. And he might still be alive. Remember, 0931. Sounds way overcomplicated. Gotta be an easier way. We'll call the FIA secret agent hotline and dial his extension. No, this is the only way. Uh-huh. So what'll happen next? Reed will need to screen you. You'll show him this. It means you work for us. What the? The file will be created for you in the FIA database. Wait, back up. Tell me I'm a special agent now. That's right. But taking the oath make it feel more real. Oh, you threat. I'm not just emergency. Uh, mercenary. Where's the mystique? Wonder with Joe? Secret comms line, presidential token. What's next? Coded message in today's scream sheet? That token is for your safety. If Reed isn't 100% certain I sent you, he won't hesitate to kill uh, you. Of course. Yeah, nah. Let's skip the formal thing. Is there a problem? It's just a big commitment, you know? Can't swear to something I don't believe in. It's your choice. I understand this was well, so. Good luck out there, V. And don't let the bastards nab you. You got it. Stay safe with these two. Okay. Supposed to go to the local Capitan Caliente. Know the place? <laughs> it's not my top choice for hair of the dog. But it closed down. The business went under and the owner chose the rope. Oh, I chose the rope. Wow. Soon we got this real this time. Got what? Imitation orbital air with our names on them. What do you think? Airdrops. Hayden, hit me up. Said next drop's gonna land there on Elizabeth Crest Street. Leave me up there in an hour and know exactly how to grab it so they don't see us. That's what you are. Trying to flip hands and over's got gonna be the death of you. Nah, man, just trying to settle the debt. Either way, you went around. In, but got a bad feeling about this. Oh, now he's roped into this thing, so. Oh, uh, here's the bathroom. Makes sense, so we're going here to change. Okay, I think we are finally back to a point where we can officially do things again. Okay, this is the net. I don't really care about the net right now. Oh, good. So she's here. Listen, this Reed character, I think we can trust him. Seven years is a long time. Long enough to change a man. Hmm, I think so. You may be right. Or perhaps we can look at it another way. Seven years a sleeper. Any other agent would have walked out long ago. But not Good Reed. Point. How'd you and Somi meet? Well, she broke into my house. <laughs> Sorry, what? By which I mean a Militech data fortress. We mapped her signal at the very last second. They should have flatlined her, but... You don't kill talented teenagers when they do stupid things. You recruit them. You recruit yeah. them. Give kids like her a chance to make history. Reed understood that best of all. And of course he was right. Thinking after the crash... Militech's eyes must be glancing your way. And that gives Arasaka all the window they need. Maybe. But for now, I'm simply Schrodinger's president. That's true. Perhaps alive, perhaps dead. Both sides are certainly preparing for either outcome. Of course. So... So it seems it's business as usual. Yeah, of course. You ever consider all the vets of all your wars? Tend to land with the nomads. Met quite a few of them, actually. Veterans know better than anyone. Freedom, the open road. They're just empty words. It's more like you've left them without options. Hmm. That I do understand. I know many of our former servicemen and women feel we have no place for them. That we don't want them. However, we extend our hand to them in many different ways. They're the ones who need to grab it. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, I'm finally gonna move on, but of course, it's the end of our episode. Thanks so much for joining me today, Katie, as always. 
Disney Club and subscribe. Really helps the channel out when you do that. And uh, as well as like to see at the end of these videos, they'll get assassinated for. Oh good, there's a trash that I can dump bodies into.